Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's Vormithrax and we're going to be playing some Through the Ages. We're going to try this time three opponents on medium difficulty but without any of the challenge mode um, options selected. So I've been getting hammered pretty good by the AI on the uh, challenge mode we've been trying, Deep Impact. So I want to try one against just three AI um, straight up with no other modifications. So we're just going to do a custom game this time. We'll start a new one here. Digital rules. Let's make sure each of these is set to the medium difficulty. Alright, so three medium AI and me, digital rules, let's play. And if you've never seen this game before, check out one of my earlier episodes. I've got kind of a tutorial walkthrough of the game mechanics and what the game's about and how it plays. That would be the best place to start. Um, feel free to watch this one, of course, but you may not follow along quite as clearly as if you uh, had watched that other one first. So I'm just going to play through the game, try to keep the pace fairly quick. These can take a little while, and I don't want to split it into too many different episodes, so let's keep the action moving. I have changed one of the settings that I was using previously to try to speed the AI turns up, so let me know if you've noticed a difference or if you want me to slow it down. Uh, to kind of keep track of what they're doing, but I think this will play out a little better. All right, so we are in first position. We've only got one action to take. Uh, I'm going to grab the pyramids. I really like the pyramids. So we'll grab that, end our turn. And the other guy has all spent bunches of points to grab leaders. Not too unusual. All right, beginning of the first stage. All right, first action phase. So not a whole lot to choose from other than resource cards from the beginning there. So we've got four actions. How are we going to spend them? We're going to take six total resources in order to finish the pyramids. So we've only got two with two coming in per turn. With four actions, I can grab things like stockpile to gain one and one. Uh, not right now. Engineering Genius would be a good one. I'm thinking of just grabbing a fistful of cards. We'll do that. That's a pretty standard start. Do that. Mm, and I don't have the resources to upgrade, but I want to keep him as an idle worker in case a politics card comes up that needs one. So, two more actions. I think I'll grab Engineering Genius and... We'll grab Stockpile and end the turn. I'm going to try to get that Pyramids up just as quick as possible so we can gain the benefit. And hopefully I can grab one of those readers, or leaders. <laughs> I think Hammurabi is the one I would pick out of that group. See if he's still available when my turn comes back up. Alright, so Hammurabi is available. For politics, let's see, each of the two weakest. I'm going to be one of the weakest, most likely. We're going to hold off on that, skip politics. Alright, let's do... which order does this need to go in? So, 3, 2, and 1. So we can use this first. So we'll do that. It's going to take most of our turn. We could get the thing built. Uh, it would take all of our turn to finish it this round, and I really want to grab a, a leader. And use a military action as a civic action. That... I like. Alright. Oops, and... Now, I want to make sure I get Hammurabi. I'm going to finish the pyramids next round. Let's get Hammurabi deployed. And let's... Either do the stockpile... Let's see here, what order to do this in? I 
think I'm going to... Uh, wish I could finish this, but won't quite... Uh, so close. If I had one more resource, I could do it. But in order to play the card, I would use up my last action. Fine, go ahead and do that. Yeah, can't quite do it. I could spend a military action and two resources to get it to the third stage. Go ahead. All right, so we'll get that finished up next round. We've still got our worker in reserve. I think we're going to be done there. Oops, I'm going to have some unhappiness. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to end up losing some food or resources. There's a way around that. I don't think there's going to be, unless I deploy my worker instead of that. I could do this. Or I could... I think I'm going to put him on the research instead. Alright, that way we don't have anything here. I can still probably finish... Well, I'm... How much does it going to take? It's going to take three, so I can get it finished next round. It'll take up all of my resources, but I think that's a better play. I think that'll balance us out better. Alright, off we go. Everybody's going to gain a population. The irrigation and iron getting pretty low in the list there. I'd love to grab one or both. Somehow I doubt I'm going to get them. Green's going to grab at least one of those, I would think. Or not. Hmm, all right. Now I got some choices. So the everything's age one now in our bar. All right, my original plan was to do this. I'm definitely not going to do a politics to do aggression for raider and slave or for raiders. Um, let's skip it again. Our free population unit. He's going to be unhappy. I'll have to put him here. All right, so the goal was to do this. Finishes that off. That'll get us the extra action, civic action every turn. Now from here, three more actions. Okay to leave him idle currently. So do I grab both irrigation, iron, and warfare? That's too much stuff. I'm not going to grab Warfare. I might go for Irrigation and Iron, though. I'll have six next round, so I can do either one. Yeah, I think that's going to be important. So we're going to do that. We're going to go Irrigation and Iron. I've got no resources. Nobody's got a tactic out that I can use yet. Next round I'll be able to pick his tactic. I don't have cavalry units to gain that advantage. So I think I am going to... I'm going to keep him idle. The only thing I was thinking of doing was putting him here, but... I think I'm going to keep him idle. There's more politics cards going to come up where we get a benefit for having the idle worker. So I think I'm going to benefit from that. So let's do instead urban growth or reserves. Let's do reserves. All right. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting I've got Hammurabi. I can do urban growth. 
or I can grab Columbus, but I want to continue using... Ah, uh, that's why he's getting me the one point uh, cost reduction for trying to grab an age one. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. I didn't realize he had that ability. That could be really powerful. That could be really powerful. Let's kind of do this. I think I'm still going to get more benefit out of the extra action, civic action that Hammurabi is going to offer. So I'm going to pass on that ability. Um, for another action, though, about the only thing I could do would be to take urban growth. Nothing else has changed until I get an upgrade building down and have resources, so yeah, we'll do urban growth. We'll try to concentrate this match on getting my base infrastructure done. Too often I've gone on too narrow an upgrade path and ended up with high level certain things, but then not the other requirements to actually take advantage of it, so I'm going to try to avoid that this match. Alright, warriors now are that tactics now in the common pool. Alright, I'm eyeing you, monarchy. I love to switch governments as soon as possible. So on your turn, you may build a warrior unit for free if you have an idle worker. Well, that's one of the cards that I was holding the idle worker for. Now if I do that, it's going to make for an unhappy mob, and I'll have to deal with that. But I need to keep up with the Joneses, make sure I'm not at the bottom of the power pile. Alright, so political action, or skip the politics. Um, I'm still not capable of doing an aggression, so we're skipping. Alright, um, this is where I have to be a little careful, so... I've got six food. I'll be able to recruit somebody and put them on the happiness, but... Alright, let's say... Go ahead and do it. Then I'm going to have to recruit, and I'm going to have to do that. Uh, sure. Alright, so, everything's hunky-dory. Used a couple of my actions, but we got our warrior unit, we've got our happiness value, so we can keep recruiting. I've actually got enough work or food I could recruit one more. I'll think about that. Now, do I want to get the irrigation down or the iron? I think it's almost always going to be iron first. So let's do the iron mine. Now I have to decide how to go about this next few things. The monarchy is really tempting me. Um, I'll be able to get the irrigation out next round. Then do I plan the round after that to do a revolution for the monarchy? That'll let me basically spend a round building up resources for the next wave of cards. That kind of sounds like a good plan to me. That would gain us another point of civic and military, as well as three upgrades for our urban buildings. Getting it this early in place, I think, would be pretty beneficial. Uh, that's going to be my plan. I'm going to try it. So we're going to grab the Monarchy card. And I can either play my reserves. I don't think I have enough to do an upgrade. Nope, I need three resources to upgrade here, so I'm short on that. So I can either recruit a worker, or I can play my reserves. I think it's better to do this and keep him in reserve. I've still got one more, I forgot, because of that, so I can still play my reserves. And if I play it for food, I'll be able to get one more worker next round, or I can play it for resources to get the upgrades. I think it's going to be more important for that. Alright. And we'll use our last point to copy that tactic. Oh, that's right, I need two to copy it. Alright. Alright. 
We're gonna have to wait one more round. I think we'll be okay though. End turn. Get rid of that. I think we've got the next couple of rounds fairly well plotted out. Drop irrigation, do an upgrade or so, then do a rebellion for monarchy the round after. Alright, now I'm in last place on military. Don't like being in that position. I think, yeah, we're still in the ancient age, so the politics card shouldn't hurt me too much for being in last. All right, we've got no politics to play. So the original plan was to drop the irrigation. That will give us an upgrade path for our farmers. We've already got one for our production. What do we got up here for choices to pull cards from? That's some pretty decent ones. Bread and circuses is always good. It gives you the two happiness for a pretty low science point cost. Alternatively, I could drop Monarchy this turn. I'd still be able to use one point, because I have a military point I can use with Hammurabi. Hmm. So if I did this, switch to the new government, then I've still got a point, and that would still leave me two military points to spend for the upgrade to my tactic. I think that's a good plan. And we'll just save up some resources and do some major upgrading next round. So I think this was definitely the best way to go. Um, let's do that. That brings us up equal with the other, most of the rest. And I've got one more civic. Do I grab bread and circuses or... Yeah, I can't play irrigation now. Let's do really thinking bread and circuses. Gonna need that happiness value pretty quick. Or I can go knights. Knights actually might be a better choice. It's an age one and it'll get me the bonus. As soon as I get one deployed. Out of balance, out of balance. I'm going to go for knights. My science production is pretty low though. That's going to be a problem. But we'll deal with it. Oh, corruption. Can I avoid the corruption? I think the only way I could avoid the corruption is if I don't take the knights and I actually deploy a worker somewhere and burn off some of this resource. Um, hmm. That would also mean I wouldn't have an idle worker. Did that. I think that's going to be... Yeah, we're going to go that way instead. Getting these new cards deployed is going to be the hard part. i got to get some science up. Alright, working on a second. Wonder. Alright. So, one point cheaper for building things. Finished his wonder. Pretty straightforward infrastructure upgrading for most of the guys so far. 
don't like how they're all working on second wonders when I'm only working on... Well, my, I've got my first done, but I haven't even started any others. Alright, politics, I've got none. And I can raise my pop for two or develop irrigation for two. Let's get irrigation developed. Alright. So that gets the card out of our hand, gets it developed. Okay. What to do? I don't have the food to bring anybody in. I've got some resources for some upgrades. It's going to cost three each. I could do two resource upgrades, or I could do... I'll have enough food for one more higher next round. Got my government in place. Happiness is going to be an issue, so I do need to keep an eye out for that. I'm going to have five science points next round, so I could actually hire and then start upgrading my swordsman. Or I could grab the Great Wall, have plus one strength for each of your infantry and artillery units. That's pretty powerful. Plus a culture and a happiness. Two, four, seven, nine resources. Uh, I would grab it if it weren't three. That just... What else can I do this round with all the points that I've got? I've actually got a pretty big supply because I can still use one military for something. So how would I do this? If I grabbed that, and I upgraded that, and I upgraded that, out of resources, so I can't afford any other upgrades. Or do I not upgrade, save the resources, and try to finish that off really fast? That would cement my military pretty well. Grab the swordsman. Hmm. So if I back this up. Got seven, I'll have ten. I could get it built next round. Hmm. I think I'm going to hold off. I think that's going to be really important. That's going to give me a big military boost. I'm also going to take that. So I'll have the swordsman and I can actually deploy it next round. So we've got drama out and there's alchemy out. I'm thinking of grabbing the alchemy. That will give me an upgrade path for my science buildings as well. And I'm probably going to end up having to wait until the next age to grab some happiness buildings beyond what's already here. Doubt those will still be out there. I'm going to grab alchemy. Got that done. I'm saving my resources, so I'm not going to upgrade anything. Can't hire a worker. Huh. What do I do with this last point that I've got an option for? I can grab the drama. That'll get me some culture generation. It's either that or Code of Laws. And my worry is that I've already got two cards that I need to deploy, so that's the next turn and the turn after that my science points are already accounting for. Yeah, I... Uh, let's... Hmm. I'm going to grab drama. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else I can do effectively. I am going to suffer. Uh, it's going to be a problem. I'm not going to have enough. Alright. How am I going to do this? I think no matter what I do, I'm not going to have enough resources. I don't see a way around it though. Alright, just keep it that way. Yep, I know I'm going to have corruption. 
Gonna come up one point short unless an event happens that gives me an extra point. Well, there you go. So that'll get me the two I need. So unless something negative happens, then I'll be able to do it. So I was kind of banking on the uh, Ancient Age politics cards giving me a boost. All right, yellow. Do anything you want except for raise your military. Don't raise your military. Dang it, you raised your military <laughs> into first place. Not cool. I really need to make sure I get my... All right, some food. One more Ancient Age card out there. Ah, uh, finished his second wonder already. And raised his military, so I'm pretty far behind now. Now it's getting dangerous, because I'd have to spend two defense cards in order to tie yellow. So I barely got enough, assuming he doesn't raise it again, to uh, defend myself. So I've got to make sure I raise my military. All right, politics. Do we want to try to set up a trade route? Civ A can use one food as resource, and B can use one resource as food. Um... Yeah, let's consider it with uh, that guy is going to need to use resources food. I'd like to use food as resources. We're going to pick green. So Vormithrath can use food as resource. Yeah, that's the one I want. Firm, he accepted. Figured he would. All right, I definitely need the resources. Very first thing. Finish that thing. You may want you may want to use trade routes agreement when paying cost. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, I can't s hold on. So I've got five. I need three to raise a worker. So yeah, I'm I'm okay. So finish it. Use it. All right. So that got us up to five military all by itself. So now I've got to make a decision. Do I go for the swordsman? only do one of these. I think I've got no resources, so let's go ahead and get the swordsman deployed. The upgrade is how much? It's going to be one for each warrior I upgrade, so I could do both of my warriors upgraded the swordsman. That would use up all of the rest of my... no, that would use up these two, so I'd still have two civic actions available. So let's look at doing that. Let's do that and that. So that puts us back in tied for first. I don't think anything here is going to help. As soon as I get one more infantry, I could switch to that one next turn. All right, so then we're going to recruit. And I don't have food to recruit another. I don't have resources to upgrade or deploy, but I can grab a card. So, do I want to switch? I don't want to switch to an age one leader. Genghis I like because you can use cavalry, infantry for cavalry. Plus you get three culture if you're one of the two strongest. Do I have enough civic now that I can give up? Hmm. I can actually get him for free it's removing the one cost. Well, I could switch to Genghis without any cost, or I could grab Michelangelo. Temple Cedars and Wonders produce an extra happiness for each of their happy faces. Alright, hmm. I'm thinking of going for Genghis. That will give me a lot more variability in the military. If I do a push on military with the addition of the walls, I might be able to get some good aggressive actions going fairly early. All I'd be losing would be one civic action, and I think I've got a pretty good amount now. I've got more than I can usually handle per turn. Let's do it. Let's grab Genghis. Let's play Genghis. We are now Genghis. <laughs>
And I've got no points left. As soon as I get one guy, one more guy deployed as an infantry, I can count one of them as the cavalry and I'll get the bonus there as well. So next round, our military will bump up even further. I just need to make sure I have enough resources to do that. All right, so we'll also be able to get our alchemy up. So we got a pretty good plan. We're not going to suffer anything here. I can't do upgrades. I can still pull one more card, so Patriotism. That would save me two resources and a military action. And I'm definitely going to do that next round, so I think that's the best idea. Alright. Let's get rid of rats. I hate rats. Go away, rats. Alright, I'm going to let the computer finish out its turn, and then I'll probably end the episode. Oh! Good timing. We hit the uh, age two, right? As I was saying, we're going to end the episode. So we're now in the industrial age. And I didn't lose anything from the uh, changeover. Possible a card from this second age will be available for me to purchase. That might be useful, but it'd have to be an awful valuable one for me to consider it. All right. Three of us at level seven military. Oh, yellow's about to upgrade. Or was that red I was seeing? I'm not sure. <laughs> Everybody's upgrading. All right. So we're in the politics phase. I'll go ahead and skip the politics, but then we are going to call the episode to a close right here. So it was good timing. We made it through the first age. We're just beginning the second age with my turn here. We've got a few interesting cards up on the board. Oh, Ocean Liner Service showed up. Oh, there was any card that was going to show up that was going to tempt me to pay that amount for it, that's the one right there. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next episode. <laughs> if you're not familiar with that card, there's a particular strategy that I like to use with it. But man, spending five of my action points basically wipes out my turn, and I really wanted to get some other stuff done. But I might consider it, because I think that's super important, and I can't rely on it still being available by the time my turn rolls around again, so I'd be taking a gamble if I waited. So I'm going to call the episode to a halt right here, and I hope you're enjoying the episode and the, my play series for Through the Ages. It's a fabulous game, really enjoying it, really high quality production. I uh, do recommend it. I've got links to, in the uh, description that uh, to the pages where you can get a hold of it yourself. Uh, I'm playing it on PC, but using an Android emulator, so it's uh, mainly through Android and iOS store that you can uh, get and play this on an iPad and such, or a tablet. So I do recommend it, and uh, hopefully you will Hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. Those help me out tremendously, especially if you like this kind of content. It's a fairly smaller crowd, so I really need to hear from you guys if you enjoy this type of gameplay so that I can uh, put some focus on it and bring you some additional games of this type. So I just need to know you guys are enjoying it in order for me to do that. So I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.